Hello, I'm Rainer Grüninger, Application Engineer at Kübler, and today I will show you how to set preset with a Profinet encoder in TIA portal using standard Telegram 81. Our setup consists of a Siemens PLC S7300 and our Profinet encoder Sendix 58. Go to Device View, and choose Standard Telegram 81 as Submodule. In Standard Telegram 81, the preset can be set up directly under Properties. For this tutorial, we choose a value of 100 for the preset. Please make sure the class 4 functionality Preset control and scaling function control is activated. Type in the preferred MUR and TMR values. In this tutorial we will use the maximum scaling for a 25-bit encoder. To demonstrate the preset of the encoder, we use a switch, which is directly connected to the PLC. Two move blocks are managed the input of the variable preset trigger. The trigger for each block is the signal of the switch. So if the switch is pushed down, the move block will register a high signal. The input is a status word. If we look at the first move block, the hexadecimal value corresponds to the binary value, which is shown in the picture. To understand why exactly is this hex value is needed, we have to take a look on the structure of the telegram. Here we can see that the G1 STW is a 16-bit value which contains request set shift of home position. C bit 12 and the home position mode C bit 11. If bit 12 shifts from 0 to 1, the preset is triggered. Bit 11 determines the preset mode, absolute or relative. The actual preset value is not contained in this telegram. If the preset is executed, standard telegram 81 uses the preset value contained in B02E. If we look at the second move block, the hexadecimal value corresponds to the binary value, which is shown in the picture. If we look again on the telegram structure, we can see that the only difference between the first and the second hex value is bit 12. This time B12 is zero. Note that the input on the second move block is negated. If there is no signal from the switch, the hex value will be moved to the variable preset trigger. As a next step, we have to go to the PLC tags. Here we will find our variables which have been created already. We need first the preset trigger, which is a double word and starts on output address zero. Second, the switch, which is a Boolean value that originates from input 12 of our PLC. Third, G1 XIST1, which is a double integer value that starts on input address 4. Fourth, G1 XIST2, which is a double integer value that starts on input address 8. The difference between XIST1 and XIST2 is that XIST1 does not consider the preset operation but instead a cache value. XIST2 displays the actual encoder position, 
and takes the last preset into consideration. Now we will create a watch table to observe the input and output values. To set up a variable, simply click on the field name and select the previously created variable. Finally, choose your preferred display format and set it. Now go back to Devices and Network and click the Download button. Make sure the setup is downloaded to the PLC. If everything went successfully, you can go online to start the observation. Navigate back to your watch table and click on Monitor All. The actual values of each variable will appear in the row Monitor Value. Now if I turn the encoder and push my preset switch, the variable switch will appear as true. Note that the trigger bit 12 in the variable preset trigger is now on 1. XIST2 will now be incremented by 100 as XIST1 stays the same. As soon as I release the switch, the variable will go back to false and the value of bit 12 returns to 0. The value position will be presetted to 100 as this is our preset value. If the preset is done the second time, both position values will be incremented by 100. This holds true for every time the preset is now executed. If you want to have an absolute preset, the only thing that has to be changed is the hex value of the input. Type in the hex value as shown in the picture. Do the same on the second move block. If we look again on the telegram structure, we can see that bit 11 is now set to 0. This activates the absolute preset function. Now we have to save the new setup. Click the download button to make sure the new setup is downloaded to the PLC. If everything went successfully, you can go online to start the observation. Navigate back to your watch table and click on Monitor All. The actual values of each variable will appear on the row Monitor Value. If I turn the encoder and push my preset switch, the variable switch will appear as true. Now have a close look on the encoder position values XIST1 and XIST2. The first time only XIST2 will change to the value 100. XIST1 will remain unchanged. As soon as the preset is executed the second time, XIST2 will jump back to 100. Note this time that even XIST1 has changed its value. Why that? The function of the absolute preset can be demonstrated with this graphic. During the first preset XIST1 does not change but stores a cache value which is the difference between the actual value of XIST1 and the preset value. 
If the preset is executed the second time, XIST1 will be decreased by the cache value from the first preset. Meanwhile, the cache value will be overwritten with the new discrepancy between XIST1 and the preset value. This means if the preset is done two times right after one another, both values will return to the preset value. Ok, that's it. Now you know how to realize an absolute and a relative preset with a Profinet encoder by using standard telegram 81. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Your Rainer Gröninger.